the first study in sarcoma to show a drug actually makes people live longer, the primary endpoint of the study was survival benefit. Now, up to now in, in cancer, uh, most of our sarcoma drugs are used for palliation, that is, uh, improving symptoms or maybe improving uh, the time on study, we call that progression-free survival. Uh, it's, it's really very unusual to show a drug actually makes people live longer for sarcoma uh, with this diagnosis, especially in these two cancer subtypes, lyomyosarcoma sarcoma and liposarcoma. So, the data was sh in this randomized study showed a uh, eight-week survival benefit. Now, you go eight weeks, like, wow, that's not a lot. Uh, and it's probably true for the cancer picture in general that eight weeks wouldn't be considered a major advance. But in the sarcoma world, where we've never had a study positive for sarcoma survival, this is considered a major advance in the sarcoma field. It it's interesting. We give a lot of drugs for sarcoma based on improvement or for palliation. Our two standard drugs, one's called adriamycin, one's called ifosamide. Uh, that we do it quite often has never been shown to have a survival benefit over older drug, an older drug, just single agent doxorubicin. So, to actually have a study showing that patients live longer with metastatic sarcoma with a new drug, a drug by the way that's approved for the treatment of breast cancer, but now tried in sarcoma for the first time, that to me is considered a major advance in the sarcoma field.